would show you guys and explain why I make my own laundry soap. Um, it's number one, it's extremely cheap. It only ends up being a few cents per load, literally pennies. And I know there's controversy that some say, oh, it can clog the washers, it can, you know, break havoc, whatever. I've been doing this for 15 years now. Never have had a problem with my washer. Um, I do use vinegar in the rinse cycle, so I'm sure that helps rinse things out. But um, super simple, makes a five gallon bucket, and that will last me, oh, there's a lot of us in this house, so probably three, three, four months. But literally, it's super cheap. But I thought I'd show you, you can use Bell's Napa, which is what we prefer. My kiddos like the natural scent of the Bell's Napa. You can add essential oils or whatever scent you want to it. I prefer not to do that because it adds to the cost. And the point is, is to save money. So they like the Bell's Napa because it does have a, a natural scent to it and it smells good. So this is what we use. I mean, you can also use, a lot of people use the Zilt bars. Um, you find both of these in the laundry section. This Zoat, when you're grating it, it's a softer bar. So um, it doesn't grate precisely as the Fells Napa. And we don't so much like the scent. So we only use this in an extreme emergency. If, like, say we ran out of Fells Napa and couldn't find it or whatever. But I currently have enough Fells Napa to make laundry soap for probably three or four years. So don't have to worry about that. So it takes one bar of soap. You can pick the Napa, Zote, and then you're going to use one cup of the borax. And then you're going to use one cup of the washing soda per five gallon bucket. So I will show you how I process this, but all the ingredients you need is one cup of washing soda, one cup of borax, one bar of soap. So I've got an old food processor. Now this is one, I think it was like $24 at Walmart. Um, I have a bigger one I use for my food, but I've seen these at the thrift store for three, four, five dollars um, So that's what I suggest, or you can just get a regular cheese grater you know, from Dollar Tree and just grate it by hand. Definitely more time consuming. So I figured out with this way, I use the trees grater end on this and I put the blade on there that came with it and this ends up turning it into a powder, which it doesn't matter if it's a powder or if you have shaved pieces, it just melts faster when it's a powder. So I have found that's um, faster for me to do that fix this. Um, so that's what I do is I will grind the bar in this and then I will add it to four cups of boiling water on the stove and stir it until it's all melted down in with the water. As you can see, it is all powderized in there. Um, if you just use the grater, it would be like you're shredding cheese and it would be little slices, which is totally fine either way. Um, I just find that doing it this way just saves a lot of melting time. So I let this settle for a minute so it's not all powdery when I open it. And then I'm going to take a cup of each and then you just need a measuring cup i got a two cup i'll put one cup of borax one cup of washing soda in this and then i have my five gallon bucket here i'm gonna fill it halfway with water and then i'm gonna stir these in there with hot water 
stir it really well and then after my mixture is done my soap mixture is done melting down i will pour that in here stir it some more and then fill the rest of the way up with water so i've got two cups one cup borax one cup washing soda in here i'm just going to dump it in this is half full of hot water and i have this really long it's um it's actually a serving spoon for like catering so i got it at sam's club but it works really well because my hands never have to touch it and it ends up looking like that it's just kind of a foggy look to it right now but it's stirred in so now I am going to get the powder going into the pot. So this is what it looks like. It's just like all powder. going to continuously stir it and then it'll melt down because if you don't continue to stir it it can bubble up and go over which can be a mess so you don't want that you don't want it to bubble over so i'll just get this melted down and stirred So I finished melting the soap and it just comes down. It's just like a yellow liquid. That's what the Fels Napa does. So I just pour it in the half gallon or half gallon, the five gallon bucket. And then I give it a really good stir. And then I'm going to fill it the rest of the way with hot water. That way, um, about up to this top line, and then I'll put the lid on it. And then you need to let it sit overnight for 24 hours. And then what happens is it gels overnight. It gets really thick. Um, and it does separate a little. The thinner liquid's on the bottom, and then it's thicker on the top. So I take my, actually I have a ladle that's got a long handle, a one cup ladle. I actually got it from Walmart for like four dollars. I leave it hanging on the side and it just sits in here and that's my scoop when I do my laundry. I just do one cup per load. Um, amazing at taking out my husband's grease from work. He works with stainless steel all day. So it works great on getting all that out. But yeah, so this is set overnight and it um, will gel and then it to be ready to use. You just need to give it a quick stir before you scoop some out each time just to make sure you're getting all the good stuff in that scoop. So you just turn it together. And then I will show you um, a bucket I already have on what it looks like when I'm actually using it. So I'm in my laundry room and this is actually the ladle I use. Like I said, I got it at Walmart. And that is kind of how it turns out. So you just want to make sure when you stir it, it looks like that. You just give it a couple stirs and then one scoop of that in the washer. And the clothes come out really, really clean. So that's how I do the laundry soap. It literally takes less than 15 minutes to do the whole thing, if, if even that long. Um, it's super quick, um, and it's super cheap. So when you're in a pinch and you're really struggling, make try this recipe. I'll put it below to where you guys have it and you know what um, the exact ingredients are.